<clears throat> Mary! Oh, have you been standing there long? I'm sorry. Please come in. I didn't want to break your concentration. Oh, no, 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 no problem at all. Come in. Now sit down. I, uh... I was under the impression that you were going to call me yesterday. Have you had second thoughts? Mom, did you play with Barbie when you were a kid? I sure did. What did you play with, Dad? What was... Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised, Vicky. Well, actually, I'm surprised that I even considered consulting you. After all, I am your son's employer and friend, and, and hopefully we've become friends, too. Well, since when did friendship preclude a frank discussion about sex? But if you want me to back off, just say so. Yeah, I do. I really do. At the same time, don't pay any attention to me. How's that for mixed signals? I understand perfectly. <laughs> so, what are we going to do about the elephant that's in the room? <laughs> well, I have been trying most unsuccessfully just to ignore it. Define it. Sex, in general. Oh, that would include medical textbooks and pornographic films. It's just way too broad. But comfortably generic. Is comfort the objective? It has been for a while now, yeah. I think that's the problem. Well, it may be part of it. But it's interesting. When we begin to experience discomfort, it often signals truth. Okay, uh, okay. All right, the truth is, uh, I am very, very afraid of sex. That's still too broad a response. Could you be more specific? You don't by any chance happen to know anything about my history, do you? How could I? I don't know, I thought maybe Mel or God knows, for all I know, I could have been a subject of articles in some of your psychiatric journals. Well, Mel is extremely circumspect, and you wouldn't have been identified in a case study, even if I had read it. So assume that I know nothing about you. Okay. Well, then, the first thing you should know is that most of the time, I wish I knew nothing about me. I dissociative identity disorder. It's not a secret. I've suffered from it for years and years, ever since I was a little girl. At uh, various times, it has practically destroyed my life and my family. And I have been in therapy for that a very long time. And apparently, I am now integrated. But I do not take my mental health for granted. Well, we have very complicated minds, and they protect us in unusual ways. Um, were you abused? Yes. It's a common trigger, particularly incest. Yes. It uh, was my father. He's deceased? Yes, he is. I killed him. Uh, well, I d yes, I did. I killed him. One of my alters killed him. And when did you realize that? Oh, uh, I guess about um, two years ago in therapy. You see, the whole thing started after my late husband Sloan died. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with all the details now. Suffice to say that... Uh, I eventually came face to face with my father's abuse of me and the circumstances surrounding his death. But you've successfully reintegrated. Well, not without cost. Was sex a problem before that? No. No, I mean, at least not that I was ever aware of. And then afterward, well, my husband had died, so it wasn't something I had to deal with, so I just, I didn't. What changed that?
Robert's married to Clint Buchanan mm -hmm. for, well, a number of years. And I divorced him, and I married Sloane Carpenter. But Sloane died very shortly after we were married. The thing is that through all of that, Clint and I really remained friends. And uh, last week, I mean, we were alone one evening, and he very much wanted to make love to me. Was that entirely his idea? No. <laughs> no, I, I can't say that it was. I guess maybe I was looking for a quick fix. I don't know. Now tell me, was he able to satisfy you physically in the past when you were married? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what made you think that you were ready for that step? Do you know something? It never, ever occurred to me that it would be a problem. See, Clint and I have been getting much closer uh, recently. Mostly because I've been pushing him to deal with his anger relating to our divorce and my remarriage. He told you he was angry. Oh, no. No, no, no. He, he would never do that, ever. That's the problem. He has been so kind and so supportive of me and the children. Totally businesslike at work. And frankly, given the emotional storm I had been through, I was very happy for all that peace and quiet. You know, up to a point. And then we... We just got stuck at that point. And you wanted to get past it? Sure. So I kind of goaded him into losing his temper. Oh, all in the name of honesty. And I lost my temper in public, which is not my style or Clint's. But it broke the ice, or at least so I thought. And everything was fine. <laughs> right up until the point where he kissed me. And then that ice was very much in evidence again. On whose part? Uh, on mine. It was as if everything in me just shut down. And Clint was very, very nice about it, but I felt like such a total hypocrite. I mean, here I am forcing him to confront his feelings, and I absolutely could not deal with mine. It put you on the spot. All right, now, tell me, what are your feelings for Clint? I'm not sure. Well, what do you believe his feelings are for you? I think he loves me. I, that actually makes it all harder for me to figure out where I am. Do you really think you can help me? Well, I can't make any promises. But I certainly would like to try. Would you give me permission to get in touch with your therapist? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Um, actually, um, the, the woman I worked with during the reintegration was Susanna Hannon. Susanna. Um, but she lives in Switzerland now, and uh, I'll give you her phone number, though, okay? Well, you are in therapy treatment with somebody else right now. Yeah, uh, Dr. Helen Fletcher. I'll Helen give you her number, Fletcher. too. Anna and Helen... Is there? Um, actually, I'll call them this morning and I will uh, give my consent. Well, they may want that in writing. That's not a problem. And if you were to change your mind, oh, I won't. I, I'm sure that the first step was the hardest. Oh, not by a long shot. If in two 